Hi hey guys, we're Haley and Jake. In this video, we're showing you how we built our upper cabinets. Having lots of storage inside of the van that was easy to access was very important to us. We also wanted to make sure that we kept it feeling as open and spacious as we could. So we've designed two units of upper cabinets. On the passenger side of the van, we have a long eight foot strip of upper cabinets. We have two larger cabinets over the bed that will be his and her closets. And we have two smaller cabinets over the kitchen galley for our kitchen. And then on the passenger side, we opted for a shorter stretch of upper cabinets. That's because our bed area over here, our heads will be here and we don't want to hit them on cabinets. So a few things we really wanted to focus on in our cabinets. We wanted them to be sturdy and strong so that we could put as much as we wanted and that they'd be fine driving down the road. And we also made them soft closing and have gas shocks so they don't fall on our heads. We custom made all of the doors inside of our van for our cabinets. We'll make a separate video showing all the details on how we made the doors. In this video, we're going to show you how we built the main boxes of our cabinets and how we installed them into our van. So we built this test cabinet a little while ago to see kind of how it would fit. We got the contours pretty good for the curve of the wall. That took a bit of time. To do this, we used our contour gauge and some cardboard. It took a while, but it made it a lot easier. And then we made the rest of this out of half inch uh, plywood. Uh, after building this little template, we decided we we're gonna make this top piece and possibly this back one out of three quarter inch, just to make it a little bit thicker and stronger. But we think this bottom is still okay to be at a half inch. If you ever need to cut out a shape row profile four or five times, uh, a router with a flush trim bit is perfect for it because all you do is you run the bit right along the edge and then it'll cut the piece the exact same shape every time. So we just test fitted our top piece, which is going into the cross nuts. This is the main structure that's gonna hold our cabinets to the ceiling. And um, there's a couple things that were a bit complicated in doing this. Uh, one, we had four holes we had to align with each other. So we kind of put everything up, marked with a pencil, drilled the center holes to get all the alignment right. And then what we actually did to get a bit of adjustment is we routed slots uh, an inch long into this top piece so that when we put the final cabinet up, we can adjust it forward and back and make sure it's sitting flush against the wall and that everything is straight and square rather than having to kind of caulk it because the um, holes are like, say an eighth inch forward, we have one inch slots. We'll push the whole thing in the back, screw these into the wall, tighten these down and it'll be perfect. We made some decent progress. Got the bones of it. We just need to do the contours of the edges tomorrow. And then this guy's good. So we're just at the stage where we are assembling our last overhead cabinet. And the way we kind of start doing this is we uh, put everything down, kind of loosely clamp it with these corner clamps, uh, kind of get the alignment right for everything, make sure everything's fitting right. And then we'll take it off one piece at a time and glue it. And then we'll clamp it together with, and then pocket screw while it's under tension so that the holes are tight. Then we'll just go one joint at a time and assemble the whole thing. Oh, about? you're right, sorry, top right. Top, <laughs> top left handed. You're right, that is left. Hey, 
bit and I didn't move. So here's the insides of the cabinets. Everything is glued and screwed. We taped all of the edges so that glue wouldn't spread everywhere. Learning from our previous mistakes. Yeah. And also we're pocket holing. So when you've got two pieces of wood like this, we separated, we staggered the pocket holes so that we can drill the back panels into this one side panel like this. Looking good. It's even square. Yeah. No, we'll just let it set. It's actually probably the most square thing we made. <laughs> Pretty square. <laughs> We've got a little workstation going up. So I am the painting department and Jake is the sanding department. So let's see how much we can get done today. Got everything primed. It has taken a while. So we've sanded, tack cloth, and then primed everything. This is the underside of our long cabinet here. And now I'm going to paint it with our actual cabinet paint. So we've gone with a bare semi-gloss cabinet and trim enamel. It's supposed to be self-leveling. So hopefully, fingers are crossed, that this is going to help hide all of the little mistakes that we've made. And also, we're hoping that no matter where we park, or anything that's unlevel in the van, this will just solve all of our problems because that's how it works, right? Self-leveling, right? So we'll do, I think we're going to do one coat and then we'll sand it again to like four or 500 grit and then we'll do a final coat with our final paint. So fingers crossed, it looks good. Never done this before. We made a little adjustment to our cabinets. We made these little pieces of wood that we're going to put at the front so that if anything slides open, hopefully this will stop it a little bit when we open the doors. It looks pretty cool. This should also stop it from hitting our cabinet doors and opening them, so this should keep things inside while we're driving. Yeah, and they look really good. Yeah. We're just clamping and gluing and screwing them all in place. And we also taped here because we're wood gluing, and then this way any overlaps won't get onto our nicely painted edge bands. And then another little trick is use a wet rag and you can wipe up all the excess glue because the glue is water soluble and it'll get rid of all the excess. So this is what the paint looks like. It looks really nice. I've been using the roller and it fits on really nicely. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have any brush strokes when I paint. And I'm always painting with the direction of the wood as well. So that's what it looks like down here. Here, our edge banding started coming up. So what I did was I used the iron and I just ironed it quickly and pushed it back down. And then I sanded. The paint got kind of like all melted and mushy. So when I paint, I should be able to fill that with the final layer. One of the many struggles of building your own cabinets, but... I think overall these are looking really good. I'm really proud of how these are turning out. Another thing I'm trying to do is I'm using my little foam brush and I'm getting into all the creases to make sure that's all nice. Cabinet install day. We have this hole here that's going to be behind the cabinet for running a wire that we just need to make sure that we can find after we put the cabinet up. So Jake marked this and then he's <coughs> marked here, which you'll be able to see inside the cabinet. And for mounting our cabinets, we have these little holes that we added in with cross nets in the roof and then we drilled out when we put our ceiling in. So that's what we're going to bolt the upper cabinets into. I'm in a sweet spot. I'm feeling good. The sun is shining. I knew it would. Playground. I'm in the clouds. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out. I'm gonna light it up. Yeah, I'm gonna light it up. Check it out. I'm gonna light it up. Yeah, I'm gonna light it up. Just check it out. I'm gonna light it up. Yeah, I'm gonna light it up. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out. 
was awesome. Yeah. Thanks. just sitting here looking at our cabinets such a lovely sight <laughs> it's been like two or three months two, probably two months at least to get these in two and a half months now no yeah two months yeah since we started building cabinets it was like two months ago <laughs> they look so good What do you think of the cabinet? Yeah. Like, I love them. They're going to hold all of my treats and my food and my toys.